Hello, 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 hello. Today's video is going to be 10 girls' names I loved but won't be using. Well, names that I didn't use because I had a son. But I may use these names in the future because these are, this is like a very solid girls' name list for me. And it, I've had this since my daughter was born and she's almost five. So let's just get straight into it. Very first name is Nina. And the reason this one was on the list is because we really like Nina Simone, the singer. And I was like, oh, Nina's a really nice name. So is Simone, actually. Nina is first on the list. These are not in an order of preference. They're just the 10 names that I really, really love. Next name on the list is Sylvie or Sylvia. Either of those, I think really cute. Sylvie, and it sounds like very classy for an older person too as well as for like a baby. So love that name. Number three, this was probably one of the top like three that we had if if Owen was a girl, is Hallie. Hallie. Once again, short and sweet. All of these names you'll notice are very short and sweet. We love them, they get to the point, no added extra letters or anything. That's why like in the spelling of Hallie, I would probably do just H-A-L-L-E. Why add the extra I? That's how we are. Same with like, our daughter's name is Alana. And I know you can spell it like A-L-A-N-N-A-H, but we just like, we spelt it A-L-A-N-A. That's how we, that's how we do. Um, so that was like probably one of the top three, Hallie. Next one is Stella, Stella. Oh, baby Stella I think that's really cute it's like really becoming popular now which is probably a reason that I wouldn't choose it because I I don't like I don't like hate really popular names I just prefer not to have like something that's in like the top 10 for example <laughs> okay let's continue number five is Jasmine <laughs> Um, I think that's a really cute name, Princess Jasmine. I know a couple of Jasmines, and I just think it's like one of those names that's like, it just sounds so nice, and I could see it being a baby, a school-aged child, and an adult, and it would just be like a great name. Next on the list is Ellen. Um, I met a baby at the park, at the playground, when I was taking my daughter, named Helen, and I was like, Helen, for a baby, that's so cute. Um, but I preferred Ellen. But I'm like, wow, that's such a cute baby name. And obviously as an adult, it's like perfectly fine. But like as a baby, that's such a cute name. So loved that one. Next is Keely. I know a couple Keelys back home in Australia. I've never met one here. But I believe it's Irish. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. I really like how it sounds. Next on the list is Jada. I have no other reason besides the fact that it's short and cute and sweet and it sounds like, I like how it sounds, Jada. Just very simple. Next on the list is, and this was probably going to be the name that we would have chosen, is Eliza. I believe the top three that we had was Nina, Hallie, and Eliza. The reason I really like Eliza was because of our other daughter's name. They just sounded so good together. So it would be Eliza and Alana, Alana and Eliza. And then obviously Alana's nickname is Lana. And then we would have Eliza's nickname be Liza. And then it'd be like Lana and Liza, Alana and Eliza. I just think it sounds so cute together as sisters. Um, and I really like the name Eliza anyway. So that would have been like so great. The very last name on the list is Georgia, spelt J O R J A. Like the singer, I really like the sound of the name Georgia. So that's basically it. I just wanted to make this video real quick um, in case anyone's looking for names. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you, or I hope you just watch it and enjoy the video. Have a good day. Bye.